Welcome to this RI in person interview at the PRI in person conference in Cape Town, South Africa. My name is Hugh Whelan, Managing Editor of ResponsibleInvestor.com uh, and I'm here now with John Duncan, Head of Sustainability Research and Engagement at Old Mutual. John, hello. John, can you talk about some of the uh, thematic ESG and strategic ESG issues that you uh, cover uh, at Old Mutual in your role? So Old Mutual is a 167-year-old organization. It's global. It uh, originates from South Africa. It's got 289 billion pounds of funds under management. Um, from an organization perspective, my role is to um, do two things, really. One is to support our operations around ESG content, um, bringing in information around climate, uh, water, those kinds of risks. And the other side is to really, I, I guess it's a change management process around looking at investment process and looking at the uh, uh, best places to insert uh, screening processes, if you like, um, around investment and ownership decision making. John, how do some of these thematic and strategic issues play out in, in South Africa as, uh, as your home country? The thematic issues that we're focused on, I mean, it's probably helpful to sort of speak around the South African markets on the thematic side of things, since that's where I'm based, and those are um, issues which I'm probably the most familiar with. But immediately in the context of South Africa, we've been looking quite a, a bit at issues around energy security and carbon taxation. We've been looking at issues of water and water risk. You know, what's quite important in South Africa, particularly in a post marikana type environment, is issues around executive pay. So I guess from a, a, a thematic sort of top-down um, issues perspective, you know, certainly governance type issues um, have been quite important in the recent, recent while. So there is kind of three areas where we are, which we're working on. Um, the first area is looking at ESG integration. Um, and obviously how that shows up for a group like ourselves is very much dependent on asset class and we manage across a diverse asset class range. So, you know, listed equity, private equity, fixed income, property, et cetera. So strategically, one of the issues we've been looking at is trying to understand the investment process and looking at the best place to insert ESG information. Um, second piece is really been uh, working around um, this sort of mythical uh, sustainability alpha. So trying to kind of make links and relationships with uh, uh, you know, the academic world and, and really, I guess, deepening and broadening our own understanding of, of, of really where the alpha signal is, if at all, in this environment. And then the third thing is very much in the list environment looking at um, our, our responsible ownership practices. So trying to work across the group in a more coordinated fashion and getting a voice out in the market around uh, some of these core sustainability issues. John, how, how important is it for you to, to attend an event like PR in person? Firstly, it's an amazing thing to have it here in South Africa. First time on African soil, um, really kind of sends the message out to the asset owning community that sustainability issues are real, people need to be thinking about them, and that there's a role for the investment community. So, so that in itself is, 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 a, is a very positive and important thing. Um, for me as a professional, um, the opportunity to, to network and learn, um, meet people of my own species, um, <laughs> and engage with them, hear what they're doing, understand some of their challenges um, within their own organization. John, thanks very much. Sure, thank you for having me.